Good afternoon, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's Chana Doll here. So today is February 5th, 2022, and it's the opening day of Mardi Gras. And I just got here, and it's starting to rain, and it's cloudy. Kind of, but at least it's not as bad as remember when I went to Halloween Horror Nights on the first day. It was like pouring. But I'm still gonna make the best of it. I'm very excited to try all the food offerings they have here. And um, I'm gonna um, join the parade. And um, look at this cool bucket hat I got from Burger. I know I showed you guys in the tribute video the other day, but did you know that it is reversible? So look at this, guys. You can turn it the other way. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyways, guys, I'm very excited. I'm all decked out for the Mardi Gras, looking at my swag, my Mardi Gras swag, and I'm ready to come in. So let's go have some fun for Mardi Gras this year. So here, during the Mardi Gras season, they do have some live concerts. So if you have an annual pass, you can actually watch the concerts for free. I'm gonna show you real quick what the lineup is for this year of 2022. So for example, today, which is February 5th, they have Sugar Ray coming. And then look at all the other artists. The only one I'm really looking forward to is Marshmallow on March 6th. And they usually perform the concerts right here on this stage area. But if you really wanna see your artist cup pulse, just I'll, I recommend coming out early. One thing I do miss that they're doing this year that they used to have last year for Mardi Gras was the um, tasting lanyard. <laughs> they no longer are using that this year. But if you do have your lanyard from last year, you can, they'll still honor it. But now I think this year they're doing the gift cards and when I get to one of the pool, pool booths, I'll let you know how much they are. And we'll... So first food booth we're gonna go to is the Arepos. I had this last year and uh, Pico Dello Arepos. This is for $9.49 and it comes with beef, cold cheese, cilantro, mayo ketchup. They have a deal if you pay 65 they put 75 dollars in the gift card this is a replaceable the, instead of the lanyard it's food and beverage card so you can use it basically anywhere in universal or city wall like i was saying guys first stop of the day for mardi gras food offerings is the acar i don't know how to pronounce aqua picadalo Apari aparepas i think that's the thing i can never pronounce these names right but look at this goodness guys oh my gosh now i cannot wait to dig into it and let you guys know how this is just as good as last year one of my favorite items here during mardi gras all right guys i'm um, gonna head into the tribute store because my friend that i'm here with hasn't seen it yet so i don't mind going in again and then we're gonna go back to try more food offerings here for mardi gras and in case you guys are wondering this event is all the way till april 24th so you don't have to rush it's like a few months for mardi gras but i just like coming the first day is just exciting for me i guess it's crowded but i don't know i love to stop being here for the first day of everything we have a fortune teller inside of the Mo universal monsters tribute store and my friend here is going to be actually inserting a dollar and see what his fortune is going to be so we're going to find oh a ticket popped off so what does it say A long ticket okay and it says you've been going really hand at your work and play it is moderation that is the silken string running through the pearl chain of all virtues for the poorest man would not be part with health or money but the richest would gladly be part of their money for their health slow down just all for you will gain enlightenment that little pause will bring you some health the greatest of gifts contents the greatest of riches trust the greatest of qualities and enlightenment for the great happiness very interesting Booth we're gonna go into I'm gonna get the ube ice cream bubble waffle it's for $8.99 it's purple sweet potato ice cream and matcha green bubble waffle in case you guys are wondering where this is located basically by remember when the when they had the Chucky photo up for Halloween Hornets in that area so that's where the booth is you guys you know what's really cool um if you are an annual pass holder like I am you show them this card they scan it and you do actually get a discount even if you're using the Mardi Gras gift card and so it's pretty cool it saves you a few bucks but that's a cool fun fact to know while you're here at Mardi Gras all right guys I finally got my dessert look it's like a waffle I got the ube waffle and it has like this ice cream in the inside with sprinkles and what is that my like marshmallows I'm not sure but it looks really interesting I can't wait to eat it and then they put these two pink um sticks in it but like they're like pocky pokey whatever you guys before I even start eating this I'm here in this sizzling zone I think they put pop rock candy in here although all I hear is <laughs> anyways 
I don't even know where to start eating on this thing. But everything looks so good. Okay. Luckily they gave me a spoon and a napkin because I'm a pretty messy eater. Let's see. Let's see how this is. That's really good. Oh, it is about frogs because it's like sizzling in my mouth. Mm. Curious to see how the squid with the walk home big little white. <laughs> this is definitely a dessert you guys have to get while you're here in Mardi Gras. Oh my gosh, it's like so good. Next up on the food list, I'm going to be getting the shrimp Alaska, a shrimp tofu chicken hardball eggs, Asian noodles, it's a basic coconut fur box for $9.99. So first thing before I start digging in, the, the girl, she gave me this thing that's like half chopsticks and half fork. It's so amazing because I'm used to either one or the other, not both at the same time. But I guess if you don't want these chopsticks, you can use the bottom and use the fork. So, but look at all this goodness. Mm. And it's a nice warm dish because it's chilly out, it's Florida cold. So let's let's start digging in into this. So there's one of the shrimps right here. I really thought this dish was gonna be a lot hotter than this and then look the tofu. I gotta use the fork. I how freaking sad that it is. Let's see. A little bit of shrimp, uh, ramen. Whoa. So the more and more I'm into eating into this dish, um, it's having a, like a little spicy kick and uh, normally I don't really like spicy food. Um, I just, like I said, I wish this dish was a little bit warmer. I thought it was gonna be really hot. Like when I mean hot, I don't mean spicy hot, like the temperature hot. But uh, but other than that, it's, it's a pretty good dish. Um, yeah. And it wasn't that bad, like it was like maybe one person in line with me. I thought it would be even more crowded because you know it's the first day, it's the weekend. But I mean camera usually eat first, but that um that noodle dish was pretty good. Like I said, I just wish it was a little warmer and it's kinda spicy. So if you guys don't like spicy food, I don't recommend getting it. Um it's almost that time to get onto the parade. I'm very excited to um be able to throw some beads out to the crowd instead of just washing it. I mean, either way, if you wash it or throw it, it's, it's still a good experience. But I'm just glad to be able to do it on the first day here. All right, so the last food booth I'm stopping at is here and I'm getting the uh, shrimp oil. So it's a mixed bag of shrimp, sausage, potato, corn corn for 11 49 This was probably one of the fastest booths I've been to out of all of them, only because like in like literally 30 seconds, I already get my food. I'm like, whoa, that was quick, but Look at this guys, this is so delicious, yum, I love seafood, so shrimp, potatoes, corn on the cob, oh yes, yummy to my tummy. Like I said, I always camera eat first. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can start recording now. No, oh I didn't know it was already on. Okay, anyways, guys. Edit it out. <laughs> well, I don't know which one should I pick up first. You know what? The pressure is on. Let's go the with the. Sorry, the, let's just go with the shrimp. Only because I love seafood. So I'm going to peel off all the shrimp right now and take a bite of this one. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> they have other boils there. If you, if you can't read it, you can't eat it, right? I <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Alright, next on the list is the corn on the cob. Mm. So, so good. I'm trying to get the crunch off. Uh, oh, yeah. Bite <laughs> 
potato. This one. It's hard. I don't feel like it is like cooked all the way. It's like really crunchy. It's supposed to. I think the potato is supposed to be soft, but still gonna get it anyways. And I want to know why did they give me one sausage in my boil? My friend over here ordered the same exact dish and he got a bunch of sausages. Why do I only get one? <laughs> oh. Mm. Everything is really good. And it's pretty messy. Make sure to grab some napkins. You know guys, with this pass holder discount, it, it um, saves you a lot of money and you can get more food and more drinks during Mardi Gras because we have like, I think 30, let me see. I think $30 left I'm not just using balance. Yep, I was right, $37. Wow, you know how many food items I've been eating the whole day and there's still $37 left in the gift card. I didn't eat two items. I started off with the, um, the arepas and then I went to go get the, um, the ube ice cream and then I had the shrimp oil and um, uh, I think I can't remember but so far it's been good I mean the weather is still chilly out I don't think it's gonna get any warmer it's so bipolar like I, I was just literally here two days ago and it was nice and warm in the 80s and now it's down to the 50s cloudy and chilly but i want to stay to the parade so i can throw you guys some beads maybe you might see me down there when i'm throwing beads to you guys well, okay. guys if you can't if you if can't, you can't read you it can't. you can't eat it <laughs> all right now i'm queuing up in the line to go into the mardi gras parade if you have a reservation for the passover um, thing you come right over here by the animal actors and we're gonna check in and get boarded onto the parade. I met up with my friend Nikki, and thanks to her, I'm able to go onto the float for the Mardi Gras and throw beats to everybody. We're excited! Guys, oh yes. my gosh, we're gonna be on the Gator float. I don't think I ever been on that one before. No, nope, I haven't either. I'm excited about it. It's been fun. <laughs> so the first thing you do, they check your confirmation. They give you this wristband, and then we gotta fill out this waiver form, and then from there they'll tell us what to do next. So I'm super excited, guys. Every float here has a different color top that we have to wear. So since we are on the gator float, we're all in blue. <laughs> and we're all waiting in this area where the um, animal after show is. So they get all the groups together and then we're gonna head on the floor. I'm super excited because I honestly, I prefer throwing the beads than catching the beads and getting hit in the face with them. So I'm very excited to show you guys. My favorite part was when the confetti fell down. Um, and then my float captain made me a necklace out of the beads. Isn't that little, that's so cute? That shout out to Kyle for giving, making me this while I'm on the float. So I got a little present from him. Um, but yeah, this overall, this day has been amazing. Got to eat lots of good food. Um, go, got to go on the parade, hang out with some friends. 
even though the weather was pretty like cloudy and it's cold i still enjoyed my time here at universal Zeno for mardi gras of 2022 i'll definitely be back again another day for more festivities here for this festival but overall guys i hope you enjoy this day oh also one more thing thanks again nikki for allowing me to be on the mardi gras float, um, float at the last minute because i couldn't get um reservations for the pass holder thing but she was able to get me a spot so that was so amazing to be able to join her and throw breeze to the crowds it was fun but overall guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you do give me a thumbs up like comment share subscribe and i'll see you in the next adventure bye